G'day guys and welcome to something completely different uh, from Angus today. Today well, I'm going to be doing a garage review and this is my first. Uh, and the garage review we're going to be doing is the Panzer S35739 French. Basically it's a tier 3 premium tank. And I love this tank. It is tremendous fun and I'll try and explain why in a minute. So basically that's how it looks. I think it's um, not the prettiest tank on the battlefield, but then again, the French tanks never were, because that's what it is. This is a French tank which was uh, basically taken over by the Wehrmacht and used, uh, yeah, by the Germans. So, yes, we have a German crew in here. Now, something important to mention is it, it is a medium tank. It is a medium tank, not a light tank. So it is the first German medium at tier 3, and you'll note from the orange writing, it is a premium tank as well. So it's going to set you back, tech tree, it is going to set you back, there it is, tier 3, uh, 1000 gold. So convert that into whatever currency that you use. So 1000 gold for, yeah, the Panzer S35. Well, why do I like this thing? Well, first of all, okay, it's tough as nails. 260 hit points, and let's compare that to basically what I think is the uh, toughest tier 3 on the battlefield. Other than that, I probably reckon that's got to be the Panzer 38T. 250 hit points, okay. So, it's got a few more hit points. Alright, so it weighs the way I've kitted it out and I haven't kicked it out at all really. 19.25 uh, tons and the Panzer 38 is 10 tons. 38T is 10 tons. So that'll tell you, okay, this is a completely different beast. 220 horsepower. We'll compare that to 200 horsepower. So it's not going to get around like the Panzer 38T. It's uh, going to be a bit slower, but the speed limit is 37. Um, which is in the same ballpark, a little bit slower than the 38T. So what you'll actually find, this thing actually moves quite well over flat ground and it moves quite well downhill, uh, but going uphill it has a problem. So it's traverse speed is 40, let's compare it here, 42, so it's just a little bit slower in every way. But here we go, so the whole armour, 36 at the front, 35 at the sides and 25 at the rear. Compare that to the 38T, 25, 15, 15. So 25 at the front, 15, 15. Now at tier three, that's actually a lot. Okay. Um, yeah, so standard shells are going to be uh, penetrating 41 to 69 and doing basically 45 damage so and they're pen going to be penetrating average about 50 55 which is enough for tier 3 it'll even get you through most tier 4 things and by the way this thing does receive preferential matchmaking so you shouldn't see tier 5 games unless you platoon up uh, which <laughs> I tend to do with this thing because it's so much fun Okay, um, but this thing can actually take care of itself in a tier 4 environment easily, tier 5 environment not so much, because uh, most guns uh, can pen it no problem, and it starts to have trouble penning tier 5s, especially obviously the heavies like a KV-1, that just ain't going to happen. Uh, yeah, turrets traverse speed of 41, uh, so that's a lot faster than the 38T at 32. Um, View range is 330, and of course you can kit that out uh, even more uh, if you've got stupid amounts of money, um, because you're going to be moving, I find I'm moving with this tank an awful lot, you may want coded optics, uh, yeah, but I mean seriously, you're not really going to be doing that. Um, yeah, 38T, let's turret traverse of 32, so yeah. This thing, basically, if you try and pull off the circle of death on it, this thing just murders light tanks. This thing just murders Panzer 1Cs. Uh, it's just beautiful what happens when a Panzer 1C with that 9mm Mauser comes up to you. It's beautiful and hilarious. Okay, signal range of 525 metres compared to 550, so it's not quite as good there as a 38C, but you wouldn't expect a premium tank to be. So, 
Shall we see how it runs? Let's. So here we are on Prokhorovka. Um, I'm platooned up with Carl over there. Uh, and we've pulled a tier 3 game. Carl obviously is in a martyr, so this is a bit of a fail platoon, really, because we can see up to tier 5s. But uh, no problem. Um, it's all good. Okay, so we pulled a tier 3 game. As you can see, I only run the standard um, ammunition. Premium is ridiculous down at these tiers. So let's have a look at how the game develops. Right. So. Just to set the scene, I had had a terrible, terrible set of games up before this. I was running up and down to tier 8 and... Um, Ah, my luck was awful, my teams were awful, and yeah, if I'm really honest, I was awful. So it was really good to come down to Tier 3 and blow off a bit of steam by blowing people up. So I've decided to go this way. Carl's going to head off to um, and run the 1-2 uh, line down there. And I am going to see if I can bash some noobs in the head. That's uh, my intention. Okay, speaking of noobs, people are shooting already, so yeah. Alright, so I'm going to go over the hill and come at them from that direction. Cruiser 4 has got the same idea, and I'm just going to speed this up until something actually happens. Right, round we go. Now here you'll see a big a bit of an issue for this thing, uh, getting up hills. It doesn't do it very well. Uh, so I'm doing uh, 8, 9, 10, 12... But I'm averaging 10 k's an hour, really, to get up this hill, which is not real good. Uh, yeah, so that's an issue. But going down the other side, not so bad. And you'll see that in a second. All right, speeding up again. Whoops, we got to four times speed. Okay, cruiser's going to spot from over there and take some snipes. Okay, I'm just going to sit in this bush and see if anything pops that hill. I'm not going to sit for very long, so don't worry about that. Just looking... Right, here I go. Okay, we're going to come down the hill. Now, this is where you are vulnerable to people crossing the island over there, but no, nah, there's nothing there. There is, however, a T-18. Dangerous tank. Even if it's a tier lower. Good night. Another T-18. Didn't bounce. Yep. 100 damage. There you go. So... Carl's already got two kills over the other side, I'm on one, I got a T-18 there, and I did some serious damage to another T-18. Right, so the fight in the, is going on in the town in earnest, so it would be good if I could help. But if we have a look at the map, actually the fight is over in the town, basically we've won. Uh, okay, there's a cruiser 4 over here. Let's see what we can do. Okay, D2's on him as well. Take a shot. There we go. Got a hit. And again, hitting him in the turret. Bounce. Moves. Still going. Ah. Null him with the last shot. Now, there's a tier 2 French TD over there. Can we get him? Yes, we can. Okay, take a blind shot. One more. Nah. Alright. Ooh. There's a hard go, and that TD's come back in sight. There he is, got him. Okay, hard go. No. Ah, he's backed off. But here we are, we're sitting in the trees. Oh, there's those two TDs we killed earlier. Right, there's really only one way to play this, by the way. I'm on three kills now. Carl's on two, brothers in arms, he's losing, he's looming. So we're both just dominating from uh, opposite sides of the battlefield. Alright, here we go. So we've got an M2 medium. And a Hargo. Right. So basically, I'm just going to go... I'm just going to wait for a second. Let everybody know that I'm here. That might have been a dumb move, but anyway. Uh, no, I'm not. Um... Spotting for our T57, the Artie. But anyway, all right, it's on. I'm going for it. Chasing the Hargo. Okay, as you can see, shots are bouncing off me. Nice. Okay, and the cruiser. Is he gonna? Is he gonna finish off the M2, or am I? I am. Five kills. 
Nice. Carl's still on two. Can he get that third one? Come on, Carl. Brothers in arms. Right, there's a cruiser three. Ah, 257. Right. And the cruiser's capping. Ah, Carl nulls that third kill. Very nice. Now, can I get Top Gun? Well, here we go. It's looking good. Miss. Ah, someone else nails him. There's only a mart of two left. There he is. Can I get him? Can I get him? I hit him. And... Ah, damn it. Five kills it is. Still, that's Brothers in Arms. Which is better than nothing. And, uh, yeah. Let's have a look at how that game went. Okay, well, it went uh, something a little bit like this. Um, yeah. Nice. So we got uh, 2,066 XP, which is very nice, and a tier 3 and 20,000 credits. So, uh, yeah, you take that any day. Um, yeah, as you can see, five kills, a damaged a six, uh, damaged seven tanks, did spotting damage. Um, on the uh, FTAC, Cruiser 3, and the Hargo that I, fought, I actually killed as well. And I got, um, what is it, Sniper, or oh, I can never remember because I don't care about those medals. But there we go, Brothers in Arms, which is nice. Uh, yeah, let's move on. Okay, so I did 612 damage, which isn't actually all that much, but 612 damage got me five kills. Uh, Carl down there, 124 damage for three kills, so that's pretty impressive. That Cruiser 4 there, 465 damage for one kill, so he really did quite well as well, did an awful lot of damage, and we had a Chi with two, so nice. Yeah, so let's break it down, 24 shots fired, 17 hits. 15 penetrations, 612 damage, received one hit which bounced, so yeah, that's the thing about the armor, it is very nice. Spotted one enemy, damage 7, destroyed 5, uh, 240 spotting damage, uh, yeah. So all in all, pretty fun game. So I had a few more um, games for you, but unfortunately... Um yeah, for some reason, uh, they won't play. So, uh, yeah, okay, it's time to come to a conclusion about this tank. Uh, basically, I love it. Was it worth a thousand gold, which I think worked out to be something like, uh, like seven or eight Australian dollars? Hell yeah! Awful lot of fun. Okay, I've actually, I didn't play it much at the time. I had about two or three games, and I thought, oh yeah, I'll do my medium Germans with it, and uh, to be honest, I haven't really um, trained any medium Germans since. Um, that's sort of a project that's been on the black, on the back burner uh, to go down the panther line, but uh, I'll get there eventually. And uh, this thing will be used as a crew trainer at the moment. I've got the crew from the Panzer IV in there, and uh, yeah, it's all coming along rather nicely. Uh, yeah, so... What do we think about this tank? <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. It is so much fun. Um, what is really fun is when a Panzer 1C runs up to you and derps you in the front. Well, derps you in the front, goes daka 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 daka. And nothing happens. It doesn't even scratch the paint. Uh, that is so much fun. And then you turn around and you go boom, boom. Boom. About three shots, and it'll take a total of about six seconds, because the reload is about two seconds each down here. Uh, at tier three, two seconds a shot. Is this fun? Hell yeah! Should you get this? Yeah, I think so. I think so. <laughs> she might be ugly, <laughs> and um, let's face it, <laughs> yeah. She is very ugly, but... One hell of a fun tank to drive. And I'll leave you with that. So this is Angus, signing off.